The mailman just nah. sat here and told me that my packages were in the truck. And it would be another 15 minutes. I almost sat on the porch and asked if I really had to wait. It's okay. Once the mailman gets here, I'm going to continue with this unboxing. Patiently, impatiently waiting on my porch for the mailman. Draining my rain barrel while I wait. Don't think we're going to need any more water. It just does not stop raining here. And now I'm waiting inside because it's too cold outside. All right, so the mailman finally got here an hour later because wouldn't you know, today would be the day that the mailman gets a flat tire and has to wait for a new truck. Um, our mailman is super freaking cool. Um, super nice guy. So anyways, I feel bad that he got a flat tire and it's very it's super unfortunate for me that it happened to be on the day that I have been waiting for. All right, so... Let's get into this unboxing, and I will see you when I'm all set up. Hi everybody, and welcome back to Angie's Jungle House. Today is the day you've all been waiting for. The unboxing of the Half Moon Monstera. Deliciosa Elbow Vergata Cutting from Heart Shaped Leaves Giveaway, courtesy of Steve's Leaves. Um, <clears throat> now, I also did a plant swap on Steph Hall's channel, which she held on Sunday. Some of you couldn't make it. I am holding slightly hard feelings about that, but I was there. Oh, I was there. So I am going to be unboxing the swap first. Now, Kim, I'm going to link everybody's Instagram down below. And if they do have an, a, a filming YouTube channel, I will insert their channel in the cards above. Um, Kim, this came all the way from Texas. And... Uh, as the mailman was handing it to me, he said, this one does not sound right. It sounds very broken, Kim. I do not know what you sent me, but I am going to find out. It may or may not all come out of this box. It sounds like a big enough mess. I, I might just show bits and pieces. Uh, it, in, in USPS defense, it was... Mark Perishable, but not Fragile. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, yeah. I feel, oh my God, are you serious? No, you didn't. Okay. I have. Cam, I have some serious making up to do now. I was in a hurry to get that Ed and Sony eye out. Oh my god! And I literally just sent the plant. I feel like such an ass right now, but we do have plans to swap in the future, so there is a chance for redemption at, for me at this point. Oh my god! You are such a Oh, I can't use car horn sounds anymore. I, I have gotten criticized for my language. I'm going to try to eliminate at least the F-bombs from my videos. I'm sorry, guys. It is offensive. I know some of you aren't offended, but some of you are, and I'm going to work on cleaning that up. And Kim, you have absolutely outdone yourself. This one is not labeled. Now, look at this view. It's a Hoya, and I'm forgetting the, uh, she sent me pictures of this guy, too. Uh, it's in really good shape. You did such a good job on packaging it. There's three cuttings in here. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh, 
And oh wait, there's more. Small dark sedum. Throw away if you don't want a lot of this. Makes good ground cover. Um, okay, here's the thing. I live in zone four, so I'm gonna have to do some looking up on this. I know there are a lot of sedums that are, oh, that's pretty. I need ground covers too because I just redid my entire like backyard. Uh, I'm gonna see if it's hardy to zone four. Uh, but we're going to find out about that. Starpalea blooms dark red. Oh. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. This is the dark sedum. Uh, kind of looks like Kind of like our stone crop, sort of. You guys aren't going to be able to see any of this. Maybe I will be zooming, like switching my angles and refilming so you guys can get a... This looks kind of like, almost like an orchid cactus type. Similar to, it's a succulent variety. Bloom's dark red. Ooh. I'm gonna have so many little pots hanging around the house. You feel the paper? Oh my God, you've done, you, oh, darling, you've all done yourself. All right, this is called, okay. Stipua. Oh, I hope I'm saying that one right. Oh, this is wild looking. Oh my God. Oh, that's wild. Oh, this is just wild, you guys. Does it, oh. I can imagine, I can almost imagine what this looks like, like done growing out. Oh, oh it's got, no, it's, oops, we have suffered some damage. That's okay. We'll make more. All right. Awesome. This is a wild looking plant. I ain't ever seen nothing like that. Oh. Baby mother millions. Throw away immediately if you don't want millions. I've seen what these do, and I think the Garden Hose channel is uh, pretty good. She's complaining about them. Throw away if you don't want millions. Oh, we got that. Little baby mother of millions. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll throw them in some dirt and let them grow. I'm trying to keep all these guys. I'll show you what happened to that plant pot, by the way. A little bit of it. All right. Oh, and a little Haworthia. Washboard Haworthia. And the little Haworthia has a little baby. Oh, you look good with somebody. I got other succulent. I bet I wanted to do a succulent planter, so that's going to be freaking awesome. But this is the basis of the trade, was this variegated Hoya rope, which is absolutely a stunner. Great A. Beautiful. I just wish I would have had some sort of inclination. I didn't have a whole lot of stuff rooted, and I don't have a lot of succulents. I have like a couple few Hoyas that everybody else has. I feel so bad. You got another one? Small pumping aloe. Oh, and aloes can be really fun. Oh, she is flattened. I don't know if we're gonna have success with this. 
Must have gotten there. There's a couple in there, but the other one does not look any better than this guy. Oh. There's hope. There's succulents. They're hardy. We're going to see what we can do. But this is the what does not sound right in the pot. Or in the box, I should say. I kind of want to. I think it said Texas. Oh, it did say Texas. Aw. If I find some spare time, I might actually just try to glue this guy together and make a really cute little succulent planter. Aw. Thank you. I'm very sorry that it got broken. Oh, it even had a freaking drainage hole in that, and you don't get that. Aw. Alrighty. Mom to the next box. This one is from Smarty Marty Pants. Came all the way from Kentucky. Kentucky, Kentucky, Kentucky. Had a little bit of family that lived in Kentucky for quite a while. They're back here now. Must have missed the cold. So this is one rickrack cactus, which if you guys don't know, I did end up selling my rickrack cactus. Like, I had one forever ago, and it was, like, instant regret. So, I've got a replacement. So, we're going to have some rickrack cactus babies. Thanks for swapping. Hope your new rickrack plant does well. It didn't add, I did not add moisture since I wanted it, since I wanted to be cautious. At Smarty Marty Plants. Aw, thank you. I am super excited for this. I got my regular old orchid cactus, but my, I when I had the puppies, there were a few plants that just, I couldn't keep up with all of them, so I had to. This is from Cheryl. This one came all the way from Tennessee. I was going to try to stuff my roommate into the box to ship to her to ship him home. He's going, he's going back to Tennessee later this month, but, uh, apparently there's a, there's a weight limit on flat rate, so I didn't want to have to mail, I, I didn't want to have to spend that, so. Got a little card. Thanks for slapping with me. Hope you enjoy watching this plant grow with Cheryl. Oh, believe me. I will. If your girl's an aeroid addict, your girl just spent $200 ordering plants from Thailand. So let's pray to God the aeroids ship real well. And this is great packaging. It's stuck to the bottom. She done well. Operation. And this is the Monstera Adansonii wide for, round form. I have narrow form already, and now that I have the wide, so I am super, super excited about that. They're like, Thank you. I am so excited because I have been looking at all the moment you all have been waiting for. The great elbow unboxing after the great crash of Steve's leaves 2019 and the great elbow giveaway. Now comes the great half moon unboxing. I don't even want to risk cutting it. Oh boy, we're having problems. I'm going to stab myself. Cut away. Cut away. Cut away. I'm going to put that away before I hurt myself. Got a card right on top here. I'm going to show you guys the inside of this box. 
because I have a couple dogs that have made my living room look just like this. Thank you, Angela. Thank you so much for participating in our giveaway. Congratulations, congratulations, and enjoy, Casey. Or Rachel and Casey, heart shaped leaves. <sighs> okay. Well, thank you for hosting the entire freaking giveaway. I appreciate it. But look at this. I have three dogs that have made my house look like this. Their names are Mika, Charlie, and Willie. Little Tianka has not yet had the moment to add the fluff to things. Okay. You package this to travel with FedEx, my dear. You ship USPS, which typically goes well for me. Oh, and it's taped in there. She's in there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Y'all shredded the Sudoku puzzle? Shame on you. All right. Okay. She's in there. She wasn't going nowhere. This is incredibly difficult, and I'm making a gigantic freaking mess. But that's okay. Oh my god, there's more tape. This is honestly just like Christmas. Anti Christmas. Okay. It's kind of like glitter, only just not quite as bad. Get that out of the way. Whew. 10 out of 10, recommend the Gotham um, red copper cutlery. Nice, nice. Oh, let's see, finally. Okay. Put that down before I hurt myself. All right. Here it is, guys. Oh. Oh my God. Oh. oh my God. Okay. I wasn't seeing the leaf. And don't get me wrong, the, the first, the big leaf is absolutely a stunner, but I wasn't seeing the leaf. Oh my God, guys. Oh, look at that leaf. Oh geez, Lord. How beautiful is the variegation on this thing? Dude, head test. Ah, uh, thank you so much. Oh, she is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Thank you everybody for the giveaway and the swap and everything. This has been a very exciting week in my life. Um, I, I don't think my order from Thailand is going to be anywhere near this exciting. Thank you all that swapped with me and thank you Rachel and Casey at Heart Shaped Leaves and thank you Steve's Leaves because I am probably borderline like the happiest girl in the world right now. I mean granted I didn't just figure out I was like in remission from cancer or anything so I mean there's probably happier people in the world but good lord guys thank you so much. Five stars and Everybody, everything will be linked in the description down below. And if they have a YouTube channel, as I'm unboxing, I will throw it in the cards up above. And don't forget to get over to everybody's Instagram and follow them. Everything's been awesome. Thank you, guys. And as always, happy planting. Thanks. 
Trudy does not know what to think. Banks is going to check it out. But Trudy's a little on the cautious side. <laughs>